Coming in just a bit over 5,200 pounds, the new 265 TH J-Flight here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. It fits into what I call that crossover segment where it's kind of a camper, kind of a toy hauler. I sort of call it like a ramper. Now as compared to something like an Octane from Jayco, which is going to be a true toy hauler, it's bigger, it's wider, it's heavier, all that stuff is great, but it also means that you need a bigger vehicle to handle it, and that's where this one comes in. Now it really depends on the vehicle in question and what you're loading, but this I think can reasonably fall within the realm of half ton towability, obviously again, depending on what you're towing and whatnot. Uh, if you're not sure what your vehicle can handle and what you can do safely, please give our team here at Halet RV a call. We always wanna put your safety before the sale. This one gives us that little bit taller ceiling. Obviously we've got that sweet ramp patio on the back with steps you don't normally find at this budget point, but also all those little details like that little extra flip up table, those stools, the table. If you're looking for something a little bit more than starter class and you're trying to stay in the smarter class concept, I think that's where you're gonna like this one. It is an open concept, so that does mean when you're traveling, when you're loaded, it does have a little bit of a limitation there, but overall, I think she's a winner, and I'd love to know what you think. Now, one of the first things I want to point out here is just the way that, like all 8-foot wide J flights, this has a 6-foot 9 ceiling. That extra height is going to give us some more headroom, very nice in the shower, but also you can load a little bit taller stuff in here and get a little more cargo into it. You see those 5,000 pound rated D-rings all the way up to that front entertainment wall. And uh, one of the co most common questions I get is, can my XYZ toy thing fit in here? Question is, you know what guys, I, I, there, there's a million different measurements. Like there's measurements from this sofa to that sofa, from the kitchen to the whatever. There's a lot of different ways that I could measure this out. There's no way that I can possibly co uh, cover that in a comprehensive format here. I've tried to give people images and it just ends up being confusing. It just looks like an Indiana Jones map. There's just lines everywhere. So if you have a specific thing you want to get loaded, it's very simple. Just give our team here at Halet RV a call. We will scan through it. We will make sure we'll hand measure everything you need in the RV to verify. Now, one thing I was really glad to see when I first saw the prototype of this, it had like another one of these folding sofa benches right over here above that wheel well. And it didn't make sense to me. And I really, really am happy that Jayco listened to this because you see how that's all heavy duty diamond plate? Jayco made this wheel well specifically heavy duty so you can drive on it. So you don't have to worry about measuring just between the wheel well and the kitchen counter. You can go from the counter to the wall. And that means that we now have more um, loading width, basically. It didn't make any sense. Why do you make a drive on wheel well and then put a sofa above it so that you can't use it? And they thought, you know what? You're right. So you know what they did? They did something a little bit classic, a little bit different, a little bit left to center. And I think a lot of it good. They thought outside the box and they gave us a couple little bar stools right here and this little flip up dining counter. Cause one of the things here is this RV, we'll, we'll see in a second, I'll fold those benches down so you can see all the dining. Um, you know, it has a normal dining table, but sometimes if your cargo's loaded and you wanna stop and have a bite, you can't get to it. Or when you're at your destination, there's a lot of companies that make a toy hauler like this. Like for instance, look in the upper left corner of the screen right now, there's the Wildwood, Catalina and Cherokee Gray Wolf all of which make floor plans like this, with Grey Wolf absolutely being the originator of this floor plan. But none of them really utilize this really nice campsite window. But Jayco did. And that's the thing, is like all four of those things, whether it's this Jayco or those other three that I pointed out, they all have these neat little touches that set them apart. And that's why we carry so many brands here at Halet RV, ladies and gentlemen. They all have some very different, very cool features functions. One of the other things I really like is the way Jayco did their benches back here. I'm telling you, they may not have been the first one to come out with this concept, but I do think that they came out swinging. With things like these basically mechanical sofa benches, they are quite literally a pair of jackknife sleeper sofas like you'd find in a lot of other Jaycos, except they fold up and get out of the way. Now it is intentional that they have the gap between them. Jayco wanted to be different. And if somebody was back here, they wanted you to be able to navigate front to back. Also, what is kind of nice about this is it does organically create like a separated sleeping space. It's gonna be better for kids, that's the one thing. This is not as good for like adult guest camping. But a lot of these campers have like just a folding bench platform and then these removable cushions. 
and that is nice that they do maybe fold a little bit more up against the wall or they do meet in the middle for sleeping but it does mean that when the benches are folded up out of the way you have to try to find a place to store those things whereas here with these you don't have that issue it's just bench up bench down wax on wax off daniel san but of course you do still maintain that big free floating table and the thing is they put one big honking table in this thing it is heavy duty it, the thing is it's like physically heavy too it's not lightweight now that being said uh it probably wouldn't hurt me to uh, get in a little bit better shape so that that table didn't seem quite so heavy but the cool thing it's totally free floating if you want to you could take it from uh outside or inside you could use it over here in your patio space when you're not parked next to you know uh, a swamp basically or if you are parked next to a swamp like we are right now you still have another option so just imagine for a moment you wake up in the morning you grab your coffee and you come out here past your three seasons little screen wall you pull up a little chair in front of that table and you're looking out at Halet RV could you even imagine how glorious that would be or imagine even more if you're looking at something cool like you know a lake or some beautiful hills and trees and scenery or something like that or if you're gonna spend a day at like a, a dirt bike track that'd be a really cool spot to be able to sit there and just kind of watch the action while still having like a table a drink in front of you whatever and now a word from our sponsor hey y'all Joshy RV nerd here at Halen RV of Coldwater Michigan here with another episode of Fart around the campfire with us as always is absolutely nobody because this is not a real show worst show ever <laughs> now we've we saw the little dining station and up and down already what i want to look at is uh look back at these windows you see how they're all fully framed out they've also got pleated nightshades for some privacy so if you really want to block the sun out or keep some nosy people from trying to window peek at what you got in here you can do that all of the cabinetry in here is pocket screwed and another really clutch detail this is a centralized air conditioning system that is something a lot of these type of trailers just simply do not have and folks that makes a huge difference like because think about it, if this was not a central air conditioner how exactly would you expect the bedroom and the bathroom up front to not stay evenly cool now we carry a couple brands at halo rv that have this floor plan that don't centralize it standard we build that in optionally every single time so you ain't got to worry about it by the way you see how many lights are in here they're doing more lights per square foot than anyone else in this class but they can all still turn off individually which is nice and there is one switch for all of our ceiling cabin lights now if you're taking a look at it here you can see that 12 volt dc compressor fridge upgrade that we've put into this one but along with that i want you to get a uh, a good look at all the storage here in the kitchen now from there just a quick nod to the entertainment center before we jump to the bedroom and bathroom um most anybody building a camper in this class they have a uh, am fm bluetooth stereo well jaco does but they also still have dvd function they are also about the only ones i've seen that actually go ahead and run the hdmi wiring so that you don't have to now it's not that it's hard to go get an hdmi cable from amazon or dude is radio shack even still in business i'm seriously asking is radio shack still in business anyway you get the idea um man that's like when i was a kid i wanted to go to radio shack and play with the rc cars that's like toys r us that's a piece of my childhood that i feel like just died i don't know anyway uh, what was i even talking about wow i got way off topic hdmi plugs there we go sorry um it's not that it's hard to go get one but then you got to try to pull the entertainment head get back there plug in the, the the thing now you just basically jaco just made it simple so that you don't have to and here's another neat little thing you see that round plug right there that's a 12 volt power plug um you know we're used to seeing usb plugs in a lot of things but you can put a us that basically it's a cigarette lighter basically guys that's like a cigarette lighter in your vehicle so you could just grab your vehicle's phone charger and you're good to go one other quick note here our entry door is right next to either well not either but the refrigerator and the bathroom and bedroom so if you are traveling and you need to like jump in and grab something real quick you can you can see how this is a dual entry bed and bath so uh you know at night if you're sleeping on that side of the bed you don't have to walk 
all the way around, come out in the living room, and then finally get yourself over here to the toilet. But when you do, you're going to see that there's some very nice... I was shocked. This is great leg room around this thing. And <laughs> you know with that little uh, propaganda Tetford thing hanging out, doesn't that kind of look like some sort of weird toilet monster with his tongue hanging out like, come here, I want to eat you. I really think they need to up my medication. Currently, I have none. I, I prob probably need some. Okay, so now that we're done with the scary Elmo, uh, the toilet's going to eat your potty over here, we have ourselves a large, tall radius shower that a big person like me can easily fit into. Figured I'd get you a better look at it over here. So you got lots of elbow room. And I like that it's glass enclosed. There are times in this class, in this price point, you'll get just a simple curtain in a corner because it weighs less and it costs less. Again, Jayco is rarely the least expensive or the lightest weight option. You could always argue, though, that they're among the best equipped. TV hookups up there in the corner. Uh, if you choose to utilize the roof solar prep, which is located directly above us, by the way, uh, that black sticker over there is where a charge controller would be located. Now, if you take a note over there, like you see a hanging uh, cabinet, but then you look over here like, wait a minute, it's a dresser. Does this camper have any hanging storage? And the short answer is yes, absolutely. Something else it has is these just giant, wide, open side stands, which is very nice if you feel like a little claustrophobic at night, you know, you can have some open space. Now there's a light switch over there. That is what's gonna turn off and on the Coors Blue light up here, because the mountains glow blue when the campers go, I don't know, I'm, never mind. Let's take a look at the storage under the bed. Plus, these also have that easy lift bed deck that you expect out of your bigger Jayco's. This class did not used to have that. That's another one of those recent update features I'm really glad they put in there. You can see that, you know, really good attention even where you're not looking like plywood bed decking. That's just, that's the kind of stuff you don't usually find in this class at this price point. And just to give you an idea, that box right there, that is the size of a box that a microwave from a camper comes in. And you can see how it is just engulfed inside that huge pass-through compartment. So you might be asking, what do you do with that table and those stools when you're traveling? Where do you put those things? I got a good solution for you. Come up here into the bedroom, take your bedspread, and wrap those stools up. That will help keep them from banging around and kind of keep them in place, especially if you just sort of, you know, tuck it up in that headboard space. Now, I'm not saying put the table on the bed. Actually, I recommend you lift the mattress and shove the table under there in transit, and then it has no chance of bouncing around and banging up your beautiful new Jayco. And I kind of call this like a camper mullet. <laughs> it's all business in the front and party in the back. Like up front here, it's just a simple, straightforward, really good looking Jayco. But when we get to the back, that's where all the fun begins. The front is just the business end. What is nice, though, is as a member of the SLX series and J-Flights as a whole, being the number one selling RV since 2005 and counting, not just trailer, not just stick and tin camper, RV period. That says a lot. Now, there are interesting things. There are different claims that can legitimately be made. Like we carry Cherokee here at Halet RV. And overall as a brand, Cherokee is the number one selling brand out there. But you could also say the Salem Wildwood Group is the number one or Rockwood. I mean, there's different ways you can boil the numbers down. The fact is this is a highly popular group. And some things like getting the uh, propane tank covers and that power tongue jack, just because of their big bulk purchasing and volume power, makes a difference you know magnet holdbacks on those baggage doors as well and another detail i like to point out so these have those tinted windows you only find that about half the time in this class keeps the sunshine out keeps the nosy neighbors out gives you a little more privacy another cool thing here two features you also don't usually find in this class well three four hold on there's a lot uh anyway black tank flush full outside utility shower those two things are exceptionally uncommon here. Now this is uh, also less common, a uh, gas and electric water heater with auto ignition and fast recharge. There's a lot of good things going on. And something that no one else is doing in this class is that best in class Goodyear radial package that we're looking at right down there. 87 mile an hour rated. I don't ever want you driving that fast with it, but the fact is the tires are overdone for performance, which is really, like, you could say the same thing about the tongue and groove plywood floor deck or even the plywood roof decking Jayco's doing that virtually nobody else in this class offers. 
Now, I'm saying virtually just to be diplomatic. I don't know of anyone else doing that. Another cool thing here is you can option these with an enclosed underbelly just for that extra protection. And do you see how that underbelly skin actually is on top of the I-beam frame rail? And then one thing I want to point out about that is when the underbelly skin is on top of the frame rail, they don't have to jam, dram, drill, jam, whatever, screws through the I-beam frame rail. I just caught my own reflection there. It kind of startled me. I wasn't expecting something to be moving next to me. Anyway, moving on before I see oh, something else shiny. Now, a lot of brands are giving us that awesome ramp patio package back here. They all do it, it seems like, slightly differently. I like aspects of some. I dislike aspects of others. That's why we carry all these things here at Halid RV. Like I said, we have floor plans like this here in Jayco, Wildwood, Catalina. Uh, Cherokee is really the originator of concepts like this in the 26RR Grey Wolf. Almost everything else is, I'll say, inspired by that, but pretty hard copy. That's called RV R&D, by the way. Rip off and duplicate. Uh, one thing I do want to address here, though, is that Jayco took it up two notches. First of all, by uh, giving us the ability to option steps on the back. Now, I'm not blind. I can see that those steps are pointing downhill when you're going uphill right now. That's because the RV is not level. When you uh, lower the tongue jack of this thing, those steps will level right out. The second over here is what I'm going to call the puppy savers. These little things right here will keep that perfect little poodle from slipping out of the camper there and getting in the neighbor's yard. Because last time that happened, you know, we never did get that barbecue sauce out of her hair. We had to clean that there up. And, you know, you get the idea. <laughs> Now there is also a roll down like bug screen wall for the uh, rear section there. Uh, if you want to kind of turn it into a bit of a three seasons room, but you want to keep the, the critters from getting in, you can do that. Now this awning, of course, is power. There are speakers built into the awning arms so that when the uh, awnings open, it will point downward toward your campsite, which is nice instead of blowing away the neighbors. Um, also, if you feel like it, if you want to add a TV to the camper, you can mount one outside right here as well and be covered under your patio. And one more quick note, these steps right here are another optional piece of equipment like that underbelly that I showed you earlier, things that we like to do for you here at Halid RV. Wanted to take a second to show you the camper with the rear door all closed up as well. Specifically, not just because... You think I could spit some words out today. But specifically, <laughs> not just because it looks great with the bluebird on the back there, but because it has these cool key locking cam uh, holdbacks here, basically. So one of the cool things is, of course, as the name implies, it has a key lock on it to keep people out of your stuff. And uh, this has a key lock system, so that is the same as your entry door key, as your baggage door keys, as everything. It's great. But the other thing is, that's it. Um, even if you don't key lock it, it catches itself now so that door even if you forget to lock it doesn't accidentally go flying open when you're flying down the interstate so let me know what you think guys did they do enough to separate themselves from things like the 26rr gray wolf 26th catalina or the 260rt wildwood <laughs> all of which we have available here at Halid RV. This is a very popular segment and concept. And if this specific camper isn't just dead on what you're looking for, we have other things that are very similar to it, little shades and nuances of their own. And that's one of the benefits about working with Halid RV. We have the big city selection. We get the big city deals, but you get small town service. A good example of that is just the way that we don't do hidden dealer fees. So if you appreciate all that, Subscribe to our channel here, support our family-owned and operated business, and give us a call when you're ready to go camping. Short of that, really appreciate you guys tuning in and watching. Thank you for all the support. And as always, let me know what I could do to do better for you. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy Halet Camping, everyone.